PDF creation is really, really easy on the Mac. You've been able to do it since the very beginning. It's a little bit buried, but you have to know where to look. So we're going to use that PDF creation uh, utility that's built into OS X to make a custom PDF brochure that we can either mail out to clients or we can post on our website and they can download it themselves to get pricing information and wedding package information. So the first thing that we need to do is we'll open up, we're going to make this one in Photoshop. You can use whatever app you'd like, but we're going to make this one in Photoshop and essentially you just go in and make each page individually. So we'll make a new document um, and we'll size it appropriately. I'm going to make mine 5 inches by 5 inches at 300 dpi. And so, and this is really important. You want to remember what size your page is because this is going to come in handy later and I'll show you. Um, so we'll open that one up and we're going to create the first page. And this will be the cover or the first page or however you want to orient your uh, particular brochure, but this will be the first page. Uh, so after that, we'll go in and we'll make another page the same size. Everything will be exactly the same. And this will be page two. And then you'll go in and you'll make page three and four and five and six and however long you want your PDF brochure to be. I have already gone in and made uh, five pages here. And so these are the five pages of my brochure. And so what we're going to end up doing is we will export these individually as JPEGs. And we're just going to save them in a folder on the computer. So file, save as. We'll save them there on the desktop as a JPEG. And you want to call these page 1, page 2, page 3, page 4 in accordance with what order they're going to go in in the, in the brochure. This is a really, really important step. So be sure to name them appropriately. So we'll save those out. Of course, I've already saved all of these. They're all right here in this little folder. So after you've done that, um, all you have to do is highlight these, open them up. They'll open up here, and you should be in Preview. This is an app built into OS X called Preview. They'll all open up together. Um, hit Command-A to select all of these documents over here on the left-hand side, and you're going to print them together, essentially is what you're going to do. So File print. Um, if you'll notice, things are a little off right here. First of all, we're not working with square paper anymore, and also um, the rotation is off. So we're going to uncheck this auto rotate, and also we're going to have to go in and switch up our paper size, because we want our paper size to match whatever size we decided to go with in Photoshop. So these pages in particular are 5 inches by 5 inches, and right now we're working with 8 by 11 inch paper. And so we're going to go in here for paper size and manage custom size. And we're going to make our paper 5 inches by 5 inches with no margin. Hit OK. And you'll see that we're instantly given um, a piece of paper that will match the document that we created. And there are five pages. You can flip through them and make sure that they're in order. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And then from here, instead of hitting the print button, go right over here to the left hand side. There's a button that says PDF. This is built into every single print dialog in OS X. You can print a PDF from anywhere. So hit the PDF button and go to Save as PDF. And this is a standard Save as dialog. And you can call this Pricing Brochure and we'll save it right there on the desktop and it'll export out and when we close this we end up with a document here pricingbrochure.pdf and if we open this up you'll see it is a multi-page PDF with all of our documents inside so we can mail this straight out to a client we can post it on the web uh, for our clients or potential clients to download and have a look at hope that helps thanks